We're off to Romans. Now I talk about how much I hate this car all the time. And uh, it's really hard to show you most of the reasons. Other than going like this, you know. Because the climate control went out. Cruise control doesn't work. Airbag lights on because the cruise control is out. Because there's a thing underneath the steering wheel called the clock spring that transmits the signals from these buttons to uh, down to the computer to tell it how fast to go and such. And it doesn't get crap for mileage. And it doesn't seem to matter how nice I drive. And I've even tried coasting down hills and such. And still only gets, you know, 27, 28, which quite honestly freaking sucks. I got a 180,000 mile Bronco that I can get 22, 23 with on the interstate, mind you. I usually get, you know, 19 to 20 when I'm when I'm uh, just driving back and forth to town. But regardless, so I figured, you know, what the hell? I could do a little acceleration video here. So we can show you what this car's got. So we're going to get to the top of Scove's Hill here. And we got kind of a nice flat. And uh, yeah, we'll show you what it's got. I finally got enough balls up to find the governor. This thing starts shaking about 80 miles an hour. Starts getting all kinds of funny, but I got shitty tires on it. I put Uniroyals on it because I figured, what the hell, you know, it's a name brand. Turns out, yeah, shouldn't have uh, put Uniroyals on it. I should have gone with Toyos like all my other freaking vehicles. But regardless, it is what I did. Oh, shit, I forgot. <laughs> well, I guess we'll wait till we get to the bottom of uh, Peabody's there. There's a straightaway right after this hill. If there's nobody here coming. Oh shit, and it looks like there's a car. We may have to be inconspicuous. We're going to be incognito. <laughs> Yay. Meow. Anyways. And that's just another one of the reasons why I absolutely hate this car, because honestly, they claim it at 200 horse, and it's, it, you know, <laughs> if any of you have seen my tour of the ranch with uh, the big fat shop cat, you've seen the great, the, the big one ton white 61 Ford. And we, uh, well, actually we waxed this car with, uh, with that 61 Ford, you know, made it look silly, but... Then again, I really shouldn't compare. Roman keeps telling me I shouldn't compare because I can't compare an older vehicle to a newer vehicle. You know, regardless of whether this car weighs 3,000 and that weighs 5,700 or, you know, all of that other nonsense that basically makes most, I'll say most, newer cars raging piles of crap because they no longer get mileage all of a sudden they're claiming 25 miles a gallon look at us we're getting 25 miles a gallon and i'm going wow i dang near get that with my bronco and it's got a v8 you know but anyways okay here we go we can go down here by uh by uh by uh ah, brain fart <laughs> Well, it used to be uh, Sunheim's, but it's now Pruitt's, because Pruitt's bought it out from under him. Doesn't look like there's any cars coming. We get right at the bottom of this hill, so we get a real, true, nice test. And then we can show you just how slow this car is. Because as far as I'm concerned, this car is freaking slow. Anywho. Okay, here we go. We'll get right by Borg's turn here. Hill stops. Okay. Now, let's get her done. Down to zero. Whew. Better get prepared. Ah. Oh, yeah. Okay. No power launch, nothing. Just flat on the gas. See, look at that. That is flat ass ridiculous. And I can guarantee you right now that that is not 200 horse. At least not the way that I know 200 horse. 
but I guess. I'm sure some of you will argue with me, but <laughs> is what it is. Driven vehicles much larger that are a hell of a lot faster than that. Anywho, there it is. That's just one of the reasons that I do not like this car.